Today we're talking about surging sparks versus prismatic evolution. And to be honest, I've seen some comments, YouTube comments, I've seen some Reddit comments, uh, some other places, uh, TikTok, Instagram, I've just kind of been all over the place, kind of gauging what people have been saying. And I've seen a little bit of people saying, oh, forget surging sparks, prismatic, pff, move out of the way, right? So what we're gonna do today is we're going to compare what we know about surging to prismatic and I'm gonna just kind of give my thoughts on the whole situation. Um, yeah, and also real quick, I did get a new microphone. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the quality, if it's better. Uh, just first day with it, I might have to tweak some settings. But um, we're gonna start off with surging sparks, the booster boxes. So this is what we know and we'll also theorize with what we don't know about prismatic at the end. So uh, make sure you stay tuned to the end. So currently, these booster boxes are still selling like hotcakes. I mean, look at this chart in the last month, 27% growth. Uh, the three month, we're almost to the really high presale numbers. Uh, we're pretty much right there, but 27% up. Last solds, we're seeing 147, 147, and even a 150 right here. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where this ends up. Like, I mean, the set comes out uh, less than a week uh, from today, as of this recording, this is Saturday. Uh, November 2nd. So booster box is still getting hype, but are these boxes going to come down a little because of prismatic, right? That's another thing to discuss. I don't think so, but let's look at a few more things. Even the booster box cases, uh, I, I mean, cases these days, I, I don't know if there's necessarily a premium on cases. I know that for me, I prefer sealed cases, but I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, these are up these are up over the pre-order prices. Uh, 7719 was the high pre-order price. Uh, and these are at 850 with actually last solds at 874 and 883 and 880. So around 880 a case uh, for the Surging Sparks. It's, it's a pretty good set. I don't know if it's the most amazing set we've ever seen, but I think it's pretty good. And it comes at a time when the hype is really, it, like getting a good set into hype, into strength. So we also need to talk about the market itself. There's a lot of strength in the market and it kind of started with Twilight Masquerade and then things have just really been kind of slowly popping off from there and 151, absolutely insane. But we have uh, back to surging for a second. Pokemon Center ETBs, uh, about $160. These are out selling the presale price as well, which is usually high at 150. You will see last solds 158, 158, 158, right on these. And I'm going to get to the, uh, the the prismatic we're getting there. I just want to show a few things because we know more about surging, right? Um, then, So this is the Pikachu. Um, we'll see it in a second. Uh, if you want to see the image, TCG does not have it up yet. But this is the chase card, uh, supposed chase card. I mean, I think it will end up being the chase card, but we'll see. Uh, that is, you know... We don't, nobody can know if it's going to end up being the top card, but last sales, there's only been a few, right? But very consistently around $300 for the Pikachu. And that's just on TCG. We'll look at eBay in a second. The Latios, the SIR, which I think is a super stunning card. I like the connected art cards. It goes with the Latios. So very nice there. But uh, this card, only two sales on here. Uh, yesterday and today, 220 and 208 So around a $200 card. Something if, that you guys have to understand if you guys are new, we'll take a look so you guys can see the pictures of the cards here. A lot of the times, not all the time, but almost all the time, when these new sets come out, like this Pikachu, so these are selling even higher on eBay, right? 380, 360, 430, 330, 366. So usually these cards come out upon release, they're very high, and they come back down, right? It's just usually inevitable. However, we are in such a hyped market right now, and we saw what happened with, I, once again, I always use Twilight Masquerade as an example of the most recent set with the Greninja. It, it, it came out, came up, went down, went up, and it just staircased all the way up. So that's, nobody can know what's gonna happen with these cards. By the way, was this the same guy? This was the same guy selling these cards. I don't know if he's, anyways. Uh, Got some good sales. If he had three copies, that's pretty impressive. Uh, good for him. Anyways, um, the Latias, same. So we're seeing this one's closer to TCG pricing, 220, 170, 220, 200, 230 um, for the Latias. So yeah, 
nice cards and these are going to be hard to pull because surging sparks is a large set now let's talk about prismatic we made a video on this yesterday in the morning and it took about 10 hours for these to sell out of the pokemon center and these are sold out okay i'm going to talk i'm going to dive more into that in a second but uh something we need to take a look at that when i made my video i got up in the morning and i was like oh i gotta make this video i was so excited they hadn't even posted the uh, promo card yet so i wanted to give this some time just so you guys could see i know most of you guys have probably seen it but uh super adorable i think this promo is going to do really well recently i've talked about pokemon center etbs with gen 1 pokemon right uh of all the ones that have come out uh in the scarlet violet era that have the stamped promo the gen 1 pokemon always do the best and i think that this is possibly one of the strongest promos we've gotten it's on the adorable side which i think caters to a lot of people so anyways uh prismatic these are this when you get to here it says unavailable but when you're at this page it says sold out so what does this mean well most likely now nobody can know for sure this could just be sold out forever but that's not usually how the pokemon center and pokemon company works Usually they'll release in waves. There should be more restocks of this. So if you guys want to stay up to date on when these are available for purchase, um, there is a Discord link in the description if you guys want to check that out. Um, we can stay up to date. But there's there's going to be more for, more of these most likely. Okay. Uh, also something interesting to talk about that I did not talk about yesterday. When I launched my video, they had already changed the purchase limit to two. Okay. Uh, and I was able to get uh, a few orders in at two before people were getting orders of four. Now, if you aren't familiar with this, four means a sealed case. So there's kind of rumors if, if they keep it at two because of the demand, which is possible, that sealed cases are going to be more rare. Once again, I don't really put a huge premium on sealed cases personally, but I do like them. I always aim for them, right? For my my uh, sealed collection and invest investment side. So four could be rare. We'll see, right? This could have been a smaller initial batch. Also uh, important to note, like 151 uh, Pokemon Center ETB sold out faster than this. So that doesn't mean that there haven't been more of these printed because they've ramped up demand since then. We don't know unless we have like an insider from the Pokemon printing place, right? Uh, if you work at the Pokemon printing place, reach out to me. I'd love to uh, interview you or something. That'd be cool. But we got to tie this back into Surging Sparks. So Surging Sparks is currently sold out or out of stock on the Pokemon Center as well. All of these products. Now take this with a grain of salt. It is possible that these are all sold out everywhere. However, uh, this just happened with Stellar, um, Stellar Crown last release. And these went sold out all of the products just like this, like a week before. Uh, so if it's like that, they will be back in stock. So do not worry. Do not fret. I would say that that is the most likely outcome for, for surging, right? But it is kind of interesting that we have surging and prismatic both sold out at the same time. So, and there'll be more prismatic product coming out, right? Too as well, besides just the Pokemon Center ETBs. But uh, for me, you know, with my strategy, I'm mainly booster boxes and Pokemon Center ETBs now, leaning more into the Pokemon Center ETBs now than before. Uh, if you watch my investment strategy video, um, that's kind of where I'm at with that. But how do these sets compare? Well, to be honest, we haven't really seen enough of prismatic to really know for sure right we got this leafy on here we've seen all the evolutions right here the ex's we've seen some other ex's too right uh we got glaceon jolteon xerneas uh espeon right so we've seen these ex's the umbreon here and like the regular umbreon right so we've seen these that's pretty much all we've seen besides the etb and the promo it's it's a little too early to to say for certain that this set is going to just completely overshadow Surging Sparks. The set also doesn't release till January. Surging Sparks is out in November, early November. So we got all of November, all of December before 
people are going to start getting this this product but it is going to be very interesting because we're going to start seeing like the big cards there's a rumored i don't know if this is confirmed if this was an error uh, on pokey beach they said 32 special illustration rares so if you have eight that are just the evolutions that's going to be wild i mean if we start to look at these cards of what we've seen besides the evolutions are we going to get a reshiram reshiram are we going to get a kyogre are we going to get a blaziken uh sir right are we, we uh we're not going to get pikachu we just got pikachu in this last set are we going to get a xerneas are we going to get a mimikyu um i'm just going off these other ones like lucario uh Karido. like are we going to get these in sirs we don't know we don't know yet so also pull rates are a factor um uh, I'll get to all. I'll talk to pull rates in a second. Um, I also wanted to last touch on this. So people have been who have gotten these cases. Um, I would assume that they got them secured for pre-order, but they're already selling on eBay for four fifty, four ninety nine, four eighty, a hundred for one. Um, somebody sold this really low. Three hundred for a case seems a little low to me. Anyways, so pull rates usually this. Uh, the, Prismatic is like a specialty set, which doesn't have booster boxes, which is what 151 is. The pull rates are usually, they're usually easier, okay? Uh, Crown Zenith, known for having very good pull rates as well. The The pull rates are, are usually, I, we don't know this for certain, right? I would assume, though, it has to be easier pull rates. Now, that doesn't mean that the cards can't be valuable, right? You look at 151, uh, right? The The PC ETBs taking off, every sealed product really taking off. You got the Charizard, the main three, um, recently taking up, uh, getting all time highs and then coming back down off of those just a little bit. They had to cool off. But so you can use that as an example. Um, it depends also how much this is going to be printed. I think that this will be more popular than Crown Zenith. But look how much they printed Crown Zenith. Look at the prices, right? Crown Zenith is an amazing set. So I, I do like to use that as a comparison. But, you know, um, but back to comparing it to surging i think i i think they're just a little different i think specialty sets to booster box sets i just think they're a little different and and we haven't seen enough of the ev however um like if you guys are looking if you guys are like oh i want to i want to pick up um or i want to see more cards before i pick up some pokemon center etbs i would if i was you here's a few things to think about i would just uh pre-order them right hear me out because the Pokemon Center, I'm not saying to go into debt, okay? Do not get into massive credit card debt. But if you want to pre-order some ETBs on the Pokemon Center, they don't charge until they ship, which would be January. So that gives you time. That gives you time to see the other cards, and then you can cancel your order, okay? So uh, that's, you know, if you're on the fence, pre-order these ETBs and just wait. Cancel if you think the set's garbage. So, so that we don't miss out. And I say that just because the market is so hyped. Everyone's like frothing, just ready to pounce on anything and everything. They want these new sets, this EV set, like everyone, like the hype is just crazy. And things are getting, things are getting a little crazy. Things are getting scarce. Uh, like these booster boxes for surging, you're going to like, if you didn't pre-order at like 90, 98, 97, whatever they were, even maybe some 95 or a hundred bucks, you've missed out. They're already like 140 almost 150 and then the ev set like sold out like that so um i guess at, at the end of the day i'm saying they're not necessarily comparable i think specialty sets are different uh and and i mean it is possible that come january uh, the uh all the shift goes to prismatic and the insurgent comes down but with the market being what it is i don't really see that happening um but maybe by team rocket because we're supposed to get a team rocket set i don't know um at some point you know there's just so much money so many people in the market now um the money just it just keeps moving around but at, at some point it just it just goes everywhere right um so yeah i'm a little bit rambling a little bit on a tangent i hope i conveyed what i was trying to convey so i don't skip sets uh, collecting or investing right i don't skip sets i get i'm getting both right surging uh, and prismatic i like them both i have hope seeing the um the uh, promo card for prismatic gives me hope for what this set could be uh the promo is usually I, I feel like well not always but i feel like it's a pretty good indicator right uh so surging based off the promo i really like the magneton uh promo as well uh anyways 
that's gonna do it for this one guys um if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed obviously you enjoyed the content i do daily pokemon collecting and investing content so do yourself a favor hit the subscribe button so you guys can stay up to date i'll try and update you guys on when the prismatic boxes come back into stock what happens with surging right i try and do as much as i can right the, mar the market's big so i'm kind of jumping around all the time but um yeah that's it i got a new microphone let me know if the sound quality is better or worse uh it should be better this is a the blue yeti uh mic i went from like a cheapy like 25 dollar no name one to this so let me know in the comments if that's better and let me know if you guys like if you think really think prismatic will make surging like be a nothing or if you think they're equal or if you think they're different so i, I, I kind of think they're different Anyways, I, I'm just going to keep rambling, and this video is never going to end. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.